everybody, my name is Mandy, and today we're going to be talking about my May TBR. With being in quarantine and life being so crazy, I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed at my reading choices. Anybody else? I mean, I have a million and one books on my shelves, and it's hard to look up at your shelves and pick out what to read when you are not entirely sure what you've read, what you haven't, and you don't necessarily want to look at, I don't know how many books there are on the shelves, but it's a lot. You don't want to look at them individually, so today we're going to be drawing some names and choosing my May TBR. So I've got my trusty baggies with all of my unread books written on slips inside and I will be choosing some books to read. Oh, but before I start I will mention the two books that I have not drawn. First up is my nonfiction pick of the month. I am going to be reading 1776 by David McCullough. This one has recently come up on my Libby library Q, I guess, and since the Revolutionary War has always fascinated me, I figured that I would give this one a try. Um, I know that David McCullough is really up there with historical nonfiction, so hopefully it will be good. And the book that is out of my comfort zone that I'm going to be reading this month is The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. That was a big high anticipated read for last year so I am going to read it this year. Now let's see what we can knock off of my shelf for this month. We're gonna start with sci-fi fantasy and move on to contemporary. What are we gonna read this month? Okay we've got Crimson Bound by Rosamond Hodge. This is supposed to be a Little Red Riding Hood tale. Um, I originally thought that it was a sequel to Cruel Beauty by the same author, but apparently it's not. It doesn't even take place in the same world, so I don't know where I got that from. Honestly, I wasn't the biggest fan of Cruel Beauty, but I am usually willing to give authors more than one try. You never know when it's just their off book, so I guess I will be reading this one this month. Okay, and the next book, let me grab it. The book is Spellbook of the Lost and Found by Moira Fowley Doyle. This one I don't know much about. Something about witches and a spellbook takes place in an Irish town. So yeah, we'll see how this one goes. Interesting, I picked two standalone in the sci-fi fantasy, so that's not normal. Usually there's a series on the line. Uh, but there are a couple of series that I'm in the middle of that I might try finishing this month. I'll mention those at the end. Now let's see what we got for contemporary reads. I think I unhauled this book. Okay, the first book is not necessarily contemporary, but I guess I included in realistic fiction. And that book that I chose is Faithful by Janet Fox. I tried to read this one a few years ago and I did not finish it. But that might have been because I was pregnant and my brain didn't work. All I know about this is there's a girl who lives in New York society in the early 1900s and uh, she is sent to Yellowstone where it's like the Old West there still and learns. I think she's kind of spoiled and so that's why she's sent away. And yeah, maybe I will get through it this time. Maybe I will not. You will hear about it either way. I unhauled this and pick two. And I unhauled this one too. Apparently, I don't update these baggies very often. But to be fair, it's not like I'm going to individually go through the baggies every time I do an unhaul and pick ones out or every time I read a book that is on the list already. I read this one last month. Okay. This one's actually been on my radar. The next book I got was just One Day by Gail Foreman. Um, this is a, a triple combo book with the three books in this series. Um, I may read all three if I get into it, or I may just stop at one, but I will at least be trying one. I think I'll draw one more from the realistic fiction 
just so I have one more contemporary to choose from. I mean, I, I'm not entirely expecting to read all of these books this month. I mainly want to narrow down and have a few to choose from so I can try to fit my mood. Okay, next book, I guess is kind of contemporary, at least it takes place in a contemporary world. But it's actually a thriller, so I don't think it counts. And that is Dangerous Lies by Becca Fitzpatrick. This book is about a girl who is in the witness protection program as a star witness for a murder trial. And they find her and she's on the run, I think. So thriller, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll enjoy this one, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't even try it, I don't know. But with that in mind, with the idea of having more to choose from, I might draw two more from sci-fi fantasy and one more from contemporary. So I'll have four choices each. And you guys are all probably just tired of me drawing things out of this bag. This next one is inside a box set and I do not feel like taking the effort to take it out of a box, so I'm going to hold the whole box set. Uh, the book I chose was Goose Girl by Shannon Hale. This would be a reread for me. I put it in there because I wanted to reread it sometime soon. Um, it's supposed to be a retelling of the Goose Girl. Essentially, you have a princess who uh, an attempt is made at her life, and she's in hiding, and she ends up as the Goose Girl. Um, I don't want to say too much more because it might bring spoilers because she doesn't actually become the goose girl until like halfway through but yeah it's one of my favorite fairy tale retellings and I enjoy reading it a lot so maybe that's what we need in this time of quarantine is some rereads of good books okay so one more to pick from to choose I think I unhauled this one too. Apparently I've gone through a serious unhaul since I made these bags. Not apparently, I actually know that I have gone through a serious unhaul. The last one is up really high. I don't know if I want to reach that high. Yeah, that one is way too high, I'm not reaching there. It is To Kill a Kingdom by, I think it's Alexandra Christo. It's something Christo, I can see the last name on the spine. I don't know the first name, so I'm sorry if I get that wrong. I will have a lovely picture of it here, or maybe here, depending on what I feel like. Oh, I said I was going to draw one more from Contemporary. We're just all over the place. And the book that I drew, the last book, is In Some Other Life by Jessica Brody. Um, from what I understand, this is about a girl who... Three years before the events of this book, uh, was accepted to this prestigious academy and she she declined her acceptance because her longtime crush finally asked her out. <sighs> now three years later, that relationship has gone bad and she is wishing that she had gone to this academy. And so the next day she wakes up and it's three years later, but she has made the choice to go to the academy. And so she gets to see what her life would have been like, and I don't know exactly where it goes from there, but I know that she realizes that things are not all puppies and rainbows and sunshine. Sorry that this video has been a little bit all over the place, but I do have at least one book that I am hoping to read. Uh, a couple months ago I read Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco, and I am hoping to read the second book in that series. I don't remember what it's called off the top of my head, so that is one that I'm hoping to read. Here it is. I'm mainly making this video this month so that I can have some options to narrow down. So I do not think I will read all of these books, but at least now I have some choices and I'm not just going to stare blankly at my shelves next time I'm looking for a new read. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry the video was a little all over the place. But hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for sticking around even though I have not been posting videos recently. A big part of it is the fact that my husband is now working from home. Which means he is working in the office where I normally film my videos. So it can be a little difficult to feel like coming in and recording a video. And especially like when he finishes working we just kind of collapse and watch Netflix 
actually we watch Hulu. We've been watching Bones on Hulu. And I mean, why would I feel like stopping Hulu so that I can come film a video? I'm just lazy like that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, feel free to click subscribe. You can also follow me on my social media, which I will link down below. I hope you're having a great bookish quarantine day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!